manifest in unjustifiable uh, chaos and cruelty caused by President Trump's executive order is now on full display here at SeaTac Airport. The illegality and the unconstitutionality and the religious discrimination of his executive order is now on full display at Seattle International Airport. And the gross incompetence and ineffectiveness of this action without notice to local officials whose job it is is to run the airports is on full display here at SeaTac Airport. First, I want to address the gross cruelty of this. These are people who have left war-torn regions, chaos, mass poverty, many of them who have relatives here who are citizens of the United States, who have crossed the abyss from disaster to hope, who were ready and landed in the home of the land and the brave, who were allowed to get on airplanes to cross the oceans to a life of hope, and who are now torn apart from the relatives who are raiding at the end of the gate? What type of inhumane attitude allows that to happen in this nation? And that is what is going on. We have a family here today who I just met, a citizen of the United States. The Donald Trump administration allowed her husband to get on a plane in Vienna, waiting to get in the arms of his wife, but didn't let him go the six feet across this gate to embrace his wife. What type of cruel attitude based on demagoguery and fear does that to people, to anybody? And it won't stand. Second, this is a grossly unconstitutional and highly probably illegal act. It is religious discrimination in its barest and obvious form. Not only did it target just Muslim countries, it clearly is religiously discriminatory when the president himself said, we're going to say Muslims are at the bottom of the barrel, other religions are at the top. We have never done this in over two centuries of American history, and it's on display here at SeaTac. And we're drawing the line right here at SeaTac. And I hope people are doing it in airports across the country. Listen, I've seen this movie. When I got a call two hours ago about what was going on at our airport, um, I thought about the history of Bainbridge Island. I live on Bainbridge Island. 75 years ago, we saw this movie again, where because of fear, the American government issued another executive order in February 1942 that rounded up American citizens who were of Japanese American ancestry because of fear and only fear and sent them to camps for years. I know from Bainbridge Island what fear can do and I know that Americans need to stand up against this today across America. Third point I want to make This is the probably the most incompetent, ineffective, unconsciously provocative and dangerous action of any government I've ever seen. To drop this on SeaTac Airport with no notice of how to handle this, I gotta tell you, these people couldn't run a two car funeral. And it's very disappointing to see our federal government create chaos in our nation. And let me note, these just aren't refugees. These are business people who now might be in the high-tech sector, they might be physicians, they can't leave the country now to leave because they can't get back in, even though they're legally here in this country. This is damaging to the economy of my state, and it is unacceptable. So I called uh, the White House uh, about an hour ago. I talked to Justin Clark. He's in the Intergovernmental Affairs. He was the highest ranking person I could reach, and I expressed my profound disappointment and hope that they would restand, uh, reinstate just a little bit of humanity and common sense in this country and allow this these people who are in transit to cross the oceans and let them finish the last six feet when we told them they could come into this country. Uh, he indicated he would pass my thoughts alone and hope that I could reach the chief of staff. That has not happened as of yet. I have also talked to the attorney general's office The Attorney General is now uh, examining what options we have. It is difficult, though, because, frankly, the judicial system is being held hostage here, too. 
because the Trump administration won't tell the governor of the state of Washington the characteristics of the people who are now being held in custody in my state at SeaTac. Therefore, it's difficult to get in front of a judge to really get relief from what I consider unconstitutional activity. So I don't think that's uh, consistent with comity of the federal government in the state of Washington. I think it's wrong. And we're going to continue to ask them to respect that and give us this information so that federal courts can act appropriately. I hope that that will happen in the near future. Let's hope that common sense and humanity is restored in the next few hours in this country. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Cyrus.